we understand that the worlds, the universe, and the ages were framed and created or formed and put in order and equipped for their intended purpose. Did you hear that? Everything God created, he equipped for its purpose. You are fully equipped for whatever God created you to do. By, how did he do it? By the word of God. So that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. Now we come along and we immediately say, well, that's God. He takes nothing and he turns it into something. I believe that, but that's not what this says. It doesn't say that he reached into nothing and brought it into something. It's saying that it was there, it was just invisible. And by the word of God, he took what was invisible and made it visible. And now we can all see it. But what he gave us was an example to follow. That if there's things that we don't see, it doesn't mean they aren't there. We just got to use the word of faith. To take what is invisible and make it visible. Let me help you out. Here's a chair. Hey, Brian, will you jump up? Hand me the chair next to uh, Michael Faust there. No, no not near. You sit down. Hand me the chair next to him. You got it? Thank you, Brian. Okay. Give me a second. <laughs> Give Micah, come on up here. I want you to pick a chair to sit down in. Pick a chair. Sit down. Not a bad choice, right? Because he did what all of us do every day. We sit down in what we can see. Thank you, Micah. Jump up. What? You just knocked the chair. God. Why? You're good. My question is, why didn't he sit down in the invisible chair? He didn't sit in it because he can't see it. And then God comes along and he says, I want you to please me. How, Lord? Sit in the invisible chair. Oh, God. So we sit in the chair we can see and say we believe in the one we don't. When the truth is, no, God, I got confidence in this chair. But God is wanting to shift somebody today from what you can see with your natural eyes to what you can only see in the spirit and people will call you crazy and people will say you've lost your mind but I'm not walking this thing out by sight I'm walking this thing out by faith because if I can see it it is temporary but the things that I can't see they are eternal and hold a far more exceeding weight of glory and when the doctor gives me a report, I know I've got to sit in it. But I ain't going to stay in it. I'm going to see healing. And by the word of God and by the word of faith, I'm going to call out healing until I can see it too. Am I preaching to anybody in this room today? What I'm saying is don't get satisfied in what you got. Call out what you want. Don't get satisfied in what you see. Open up the eyes of faith, open up the eyes of your spirit and call it right now.